I'm Marshall Dutton from Hinder, and I'm here to show you my gear. Um, I guess I'll start over here with my guitar that I play on stage. It's a Les Paul Custom, probably about a 2010 model. You can see I've taken the pick guard off. So I don't like that, and I've changed out the, the typical knobs with these classic ones because I just like the look. It's a little beat up, but it's still a good looking guitar. As far as uh, what I usually, I usually play on the treble pickup mostly when I'm doing leads. Every once in a while I'll flip it up if I'm doing some high lead work up here. But it's usually wide open. I don't usually dial with the volume knobs much. Uh, these are, are elixirs, and they are heavy bottom light top, so it's like uh, 10 to 52, I believe. Yeah, this, this guitar was actually given to me uh, by the band uh, after we, uh, I did work on the All-American Nightmare record back in 2011, I think. So it was kind of a thank you gift uh, from the band. And so I cherish it, man. It's, uh, it's my number one. We're using these, uh, let's see, what are they? It's these guys right here. They're Audio Technical Wireless. This is my pick right here. It's a 1.14 Jumbo Jazz Custom. It's got my name on the back, it's pretty cool. I usually play on two songs during the set. I do the intro to the song Use Me, where Blower and I kind of have a guitar battle moment. It's kind of neat, it's a fun way to shred a little bit. Uh, and then I also play on a cover that we do. It's uh, Life in the Fast Lane by the Eagles. So. So we've uh, transitioned to the headrush system, which is uh, convenient, no more live amps. It's uh, really convenient for us because we do a lot of fly dates and so we have all our rigs here and it's a really neat pedal because it's basically touch screen so you just set up your rig as you would, you know, like I've got a volume pedal here, uh, a wah set up if I need it, uh, a, a comp and a, a boost, it's kind of like a, this is basically like a, a tube screamer pedal. And then I've got this amp here, which is a Sedano model. And this IR is, is basically like a cab. It's a custom cab. So it's emulating a 412 balanced, you know, 1960 Marshall cab. And then a reverb, and that's pretty much it, man. That's my setup. It's pretty simple. I love this thing because you can move, you know, it's a touch screen. Like I said, if I, if I forgot suddenly that, I'm, you know, I wanted to add a whammy pedal or something. I could just drag all these things, you know, down the line and, whoops, and make room for it, you know. Say if I wanted to add, like, a delay right there. There we go. I just play one, this, this one sound on both songs, and uh, Shipley, our guitar tech, usually just kind of has it set up for me, and sometimes he will, uh, actually activate the wah pedal while I'm doing a solo and do a wah for me, you know, so kind of spoiled. We kind of started looking because we wanted to simplify and downsize rigs. We were tired of messing with live amps and pedal boards and um, we tried this one and the Line 6 and a couple others and this was just a fit for us because we've been using uh, 11 in the studio for a lot of years and this incorporates 11 which is a, di a DigiDesign product, you know. Um, that's like an amp simulator. It has like 11 of the most popular amps. And this, they've actually expanded it here. It's got like 30 or something more amps and effects. And it's, it's a basic virtual pedal chain, you know? And so it's just pretty hard to beat because it sounds great too. And I'm pretty simple the rest of the set. I mean, basically all I got here is an Audio-Technica mic. It is, I believe it's the T6100A, which is a dynamic microphone, but a wireless unit and we're endorsed by Audio Technica so that's what we do. Here's the inner box that we carry around. So each pack's got our names on it. They call me Hog. I won't go into the reasons why. Why do we call you Hog? <laughs> sure you want to know? <laughs> it's got a pretty nice package I guess. And these, are, these are my in-ears. These are uh, JH Audio. There's 16 drivers, they're pretty nice. That's all I really know about them, you know? <laughs> and all I know is they sound great. When I joined the band, I mean, they were all on in-ears already, and uh, I kind of had to get used to it because it was my first experience. So I'm still getting used to it, you know? It's, it's definitely an adjustment, but you know, for being a singer, it's invaluable because you can, you know, most of the time hear yourself anyway, pretty well. We have a new song out, it's called Halo. Go check that out. Um, you can visit us at Hinder Music.
facebook.com it's all the socials are hinder music and uh, check us out on instagram follow us come out to a show Thank mm-hmm. you.